Hey everybody, Lux into Swirl here. Okay, so recently I did a video in which I started with what was basically a white glitter tumbler. And I mentioned that I had tried twice at that point to do my glitter application by mixing a little glitter into the first layer of resin, putting that on, and I was assured by a couple different YouTubers, pretty knowledgeable ones, that I would get a smooth, glossy, surface that I could go ahead and put a decal on or a water slide or whatever. And in both cases where I tried it, I did not have that. I had a rough surface with a couple of pits and unevenness and whatnot. So the, the basis of that video was how I fixed that and still was able to apply the water slide. Uh, I will link to that video below if you have this similar problem and you would like to see what I did. So I'm going to try it again because I, I got some feedback and apparently there may be an issue with which glitter I used. I thought I had used an ultra fine, but I can't swear to that for sure. So this time I've made absolutely sure I have an ultra fine glitter. This is dusty blue from Glitter Chimp. And I'm not going to mix a crap ton in like I do when I pour molds. I'm going to mix a little bit in because I want to get it all over the cup. I'm gonna mix up about 20 milliliters of resin. This is a 20 ounce skinny. And I will add some glitter, a less than crap ton, but a substantial amount so I get coverage. And we will see, we will see if tomorrow when we come back and look at it, if it's a smooth surface that I can put a tattoo on, cause that's what I wanna do here. Or if I'm gonna to have to sand and spray with a gloss spray in order to get myself a smooth, shiny surface to put the tattoo on, which is what I had to do last time. I'm gonna gear up and blow through this and you'll sit back and watch the show. I have seven of these cups to do in this order and uh, they all get different tattoos and then they all get the same saying, it's the line from a song for vinyl on the other side. And they're all gonna be slightly different colors but I'm using ultra fine glitter for each one. But I wanna try one first just to see if this is gonna work or not. So when once we find that out and I move on to the rest of them, I promise you I will not make you watch me do seven of them. <laughs> well, I will use creative editing and lots of fast mo, and we will just you know touch on the pertinent parts as we go along so that you see how I handle a seven cup order. So uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy the show. Here we go. And we're back. Okay, great news. Uh, this seems to have worked. It's not a perfect finish, but unlike the last time I tried this, it is actually smooth for the most part. There are a few spots that aren't perfect. But I should be able to go ahead and put on my tattoo. It's, it's that good. So that's, uh, that's fantastic. Thank you to the people who suggested <laughs> that I make absolutely sure I use ultra fine glitter because like I said, I thought I did. It, I've got some bumps here, 
some at the top. I will end up sanding that down anyway uh, before I put it, any final coat of resin on, but I still have to get the tattoo and the decal on, or the, the, the vinyl. I have to get the vinyl on. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the tattoo now. I'm trying to find the, it's a big, that's a big tattoo. Um, this is, I'm gonna use my third arm or third hand here. Uh, this is courtesy of, a uh, shout out here for Ray's Turquoise Turtle. I saw these tattoos on her channel. I will link to the video below where I saw her use this particular one. And as we go through the rest of this order, which will be in the next video. I'm gonna stop this one after I finish this particular tumbler. And then the rest of the order will be a much quicker compilation of the other six in the order. And, and they'll go pretty much the same way. It'll just be a lot faster and you'll already have all my talking stuff. But anyway, thanks to Ray, because I hadn't looked on Amazon for tattoos in a while, but after she showed what she did with some of these tattoos on her tumblers, granted this is a, it's almost a full wrap, this one is, but I think it'll work anyway. It, it, it fits perfectly top to bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to put some water on it. Hopefully we're going to get a, a good tattoo on the cup. So here goes nothing. I have, I, I do full sleeve tattoos on bigger cups. So, you know, for me to say I've never done one like this is kind of a lie, but at the same time, this is sort of, to put something this big on a cup that it just barely fits on is, um, is going to be a challenge. It'll be a challenge, but that's okay. We're, we're here for challenges, right? Sure. Sure we are. Here we go. Let's see, I'm gonna get this ready first. Got my water. Start putting paper towels in there. And hope for the best. <laughs> oh, I don't want my hands to be wet. All right, we have tattoos. It's a one and done thing because once you peel off the protective layer of plastic and put it on there, you are committed. You can't pick it up and move it around because that will just rip the tattoo. So, move this a little just to make it easier for me. I want to put that at the top. I want it to be straight and there we go. I am now committed, <laughs> and I probably should be. Okay, first towel. Second towel, and that should take care of the other half. There we go. Okay, I'll just get everything wet. Now, Ray is always able to pull hers off. When I do the full sleeve ones, I cannot. It just, it just will not pull. I'm gonna give this a try. Again, I will link to her video below. She's much more experienced at these big tattoos than I am. Oh, look at that. How beautiful. I need to get my workbench a little wet here. 
That is gorgeous. Stunning, stunning, stunning. That makes me extremely happy. All right, one down, six to go. Woohoo! So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this thoroughly dry and spray Rust-Oleum 2X Matte Clear over the whole thing, couple layers. I'm gonna put the vinyl on the other side. I'm not gonna show you that part, but then I will tack that down, the vinyl with UV resin, stick it out in the sunshine, and I'll bring you back when it's time for the final coat of resin. I will, at that point, be using Chaos Liquid Stone and because I'll just I just need a cover layer that's that's all I'll need at that point and I will be adding my Marabou rainbow alcohol ink to that cover layer so we'll be right back <laughs> 